Today we're going to take a look at load bearing vest or chest rigs, mainly for the AR-15. And these are four different examples of chest rigs that I have and just some things that I do personally. And hopefully you can get some ideas for setting up your particular chest rig. It's a very personal thing and you need to, it's according to what gear you have, how you like to set it up, what kind of holster system you have as well for your sidearm. So we're going to just take a look at some of the basic features that we have here and help you to make some decisions on what's best for you. Now this is one of the most basic setups here. This is a military issue vest system. It's the Molly attachments all around. Uh, you can get it with the pouches. These pouches are detachable. They're three across, three across here. So you have six total. And this is probably one of the most inexpensive ways to go. But of course it is US military. So they have a lot of stringent regulations and uh, controls there in place. So this is a great setup, pretty inexpensive. It is somewhat limited. There is molly across the back. There is a great grab handle here as well. And you have your metal uh, hookups here that make it really nice. There's also some keepers here that I haven't even attached to keep your straps hooked up. Of course, there's plenty of molly up here to be able to put different accessories, whether it's magazine pouches, flashlights, small med kit. And then there's some room here on the side. And this would be great. Uh, you can put a dump pouch on the front, and that's one of the things that I definitely recommend with these. Uh, it has a Fastex buckle in the front, and then it has a really heavy duty zipper. So this thing is easy to remove. You have your hooks here. One of the really good things about this setup particularly is, is that you can, if you have an AK-47, you can get the, the larger pouches and be able to hook them in because this is just a blank slate. Now there's a ton of companies out there putting together this style chest rig or just molly attachments. And of course, this also applies to those. Now this is a very basic setup, but it's really lightweight. And this is the Maxpedition uh, chest rig. I'll tell you this though, I was on their website today and I didn't see this listed, so it may be discontinued. But it does represent something that's very lightweight, very small. Uh, you can only get three magazines across the front. Of course, you can add, with the Molly attachments, you can add extra magazines here as well. One of the bonuses of, of the Maxpedition chest rig, because there's a lot of room here, is that you can actually use the AK-47 mag system. So, this is a great option for those guys out there looking for a good AK-47 uh, dedicated chest rig. Those are fairly hard to find. So, uh, but you know, again, like I said with the first one, you can find pouches to match it. But here we have the setup. You can, like I said, you can add extra ones here. Now there are Fastex buckles here. This is a real easy one to drop. In fact, there are Fastex buckles all the way around. Here, here, on the other side, and right here. Now, you may say these straps may look uncomfortable, but when I was out at the TMP All-Star shoot uh, last summer, I wore this all day long. And to be honest with you, a lot of the guys were getting hot. They were taking their vest off. They were really uncomfortable. I was super comfortable all day long. In fact, I actually forgot that I had this vest on. It was just that comfortable. Just has a basic crisscross around the back. No grab handle. There's, the straps are not really heavy duty, but this I think this chest rig ran about 56 bucks. So it was really inexpensive, but yet it had that Max Edition excellent quality. But this is a very simple setup. There's not a lot of room here for extra accessories, but you can put a dump pouch on the front and you can do some other things. It does have a, an admin pouch right here that's Velcroed in for extra things. This is one of my favorite chest rigs. This is from US Grunt Gear. And if you've never checked out US Grunt Gear, Robert down, he's down in Miami, makes some incredible vest. And this one, actually, I've done a review. In fact, I've done a review on all these. One of the things that this vest does is it has three magazine pouches across the front. Really super high quality webbing. It has the Velcro pulls. Now, of course, I've got them pulled back here. But um, really heavy duty Fastex buckles. And it has a lot of adjustments. D-ring up here. But one of the things that I've done is I've added a couple of extra pouches on the sides. And here you can see I have a double pouch here. This was all U.S. grunt gear. This one also has a place for your magazine, uh, pistol magazines, you can put two, or you can put a magazine and a small flashlight. On this side, I have my MUT multi-tool right here on the side. And then, of course, my Maxpedition dump pouch. Let me say, I just highly recommend having a dump pouch, being able to put away your magazines without throwing them down. 
because in a tough situation you may not be able to recover those magazines. It's a padded, very heavy padded uh, shoulder straps and then here you've got really good heavy duty webbing. And then you have your another heavy duty Fastex buckle right here. This also has a Velcro admin pouch down in here as well to put maps and different things like that or range cards or whatever you need to put right back in here. Of course, you can do a lot of attachments right here on your magazine pouches, even doubling up if you need to. And this would free some room on the sides to be able to put a holster or be able to put a, a small admin pouch if you desired to. Now this is the BDS Simple Stacker Chest Rig. This is an excellent product by BDS Tactical. Uh, it has the six pouches right across the front. It has this tuckable bib. You can have this bib up or you can tuck it down. Of course, here I've got a Serpa holster attached to it right here for a good cross draw system. But there is a ton of stuff you can do. Molly all the way up the, the really nice heavy duty padded uh, shoulder straps. There is a zipper that runs all the way across down here at the bottom. And the, the zipper actually runs all the way to this side and all the way over here. Two very heavy duty uh, zippers with pull tabs. You see the molly webbing on the back and this makes it just perfect to be able to attach a small bladder pouch and then to be able to run your tube over as well. Very nice buckle systems. They have two of the Fastex buckles attached on either side. There's also a Velcro pouch here that you can put different maps or different things that you want to put in here. And of course again, this is tuckable. It's really easy to pull these through and to drop it down. Just recently, I reviewed the Modular Vehicle Operator's Chest Rig by BDS Tactical as well. And that's even a more uh, extensive vest system. Excellent. So check out that video if you're interested in looking at another BDS Tactical. High quality, all made here in the USA. Now this is one of my very favorite pieces of load-bearing gear. And this is the U.S. Grunt Gear's Infidel War Belt. And, or a battle belt is what a lot of people like to call these. This is one of the best I've seen on the market. And of course made here in the USA. And this is great for, it has this really heavy webbing to be able to attach holster systems like this G-Code XTS holster, which is phenomenal by the way, uh, with the RTI wheels. And then we can also have your mag pouch. This also has a little Hest um, SC knife that I really love this knife. And of course the Molly attachments are all around this belt. Uh, it does have an interior belt that you can loop through and then put this on and take it on and off with a Velcro system. Heavy buckle system. But this really is exceptional to go under your vest in case you want to don't have room up here and then you can separate it down onto your belt. Of course this does do well with your drop leg holster systems as well. I know there's so many different options out there guys and it can be very confusing. And it has been for me and I'm still tweaking and getting my vest system together. But I hope this kind of helps you to give you some direction on what you're looking for or what you, or maybe give you some ideas about what to look for. And of course, these vests can be used for training. They can be used for competition. They can be used for three gun matches. A lot of different things you can use for this. Or it can be used, obviously, as a home defense retreat uh, vest system. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to have magazines stuffed in your pockets. It's good to go ahead and pick you out a good system. And if you need to get on a budget, Go with the military surplus. If you want to buy something a little bit more high end, then just check out your different options because there are a ton out there. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. you have this really super bad dude right here with an AR-15. Of course, that's not included.